Everyone knows there's a shortage of respiratory therapists across the nation. What people don't realize is there aren't enough educators to train the new respiratory therapists coming in. When I first came into diagnostics, everything I learned was from somebody who'd been in the field for 30 years. Those people have all moved off, retired. So we are, I'm an educator currently, trying to make sure that people are aware that this is another avenue. You can get your critical care skills and then maybe advance into becoming a teacher, into the academic world. It's, it's huge. There's so many different areas of teaching that a respiratory therapist can go into. I'm in a unique situation here at Rush where I, I can't tell you, I think we have five or six PhD respiratory therapists. We have a master's degree respiratory therapy training program, but there's only a handful of these types of programs in the country. We definitely have a shortage of educators, meaning those who teach students in a school situation, uh, but also uh, preceptors at bedside, because uh, you know we have therapists that come on uh, so I think to address the shortage of educators, I think preceptors who are really interested in training or you know, having students train them, I think they should really think about you know, possibly part-time educating. I have a supervisor who actually you know, is a supervisor and also does teaches classes at a community college for a respiratory care program. So I, I think he finds it beneficial uh, for him to not only use what he's learned at bedside, but to be able to apply it to other students. And I think that kind of reinforces his knowledge, which makes him stronger at bedside. For me, it's, uh, it's been a unique experience uh, being able to teach uh, what I've practiced. And it, it, it's, it's very fulfilling to see uh, the, the expertise and the knowledge that, that I've been handed uh, that translates into uh, care delivery and me passing that on to the next individual. Teaching brings something very rewarding to my life. I've been able to work in a community college system and currently in a four-year program where they are offered a BS or a BA degree. And currently the students have opportunities that I've never been able to offer them before. We concentrate on interprofessional education with the PA program, nursing, sonography, and the simulation program where they can actually learn to do things before they go out to clinical situations and now they have a new sense of self-confidence. It's really fun to see what we can accomplish just in their education. In order to bring the field up, you, you don't just need more soldiers, you need more leaders in respiratory therapists, people who can act as role models, as mentors, as educators, and show that the field has limitless bounds where people can do research, can educate, can actually go out and invent new techniques, new ways to take care of patients, and really sort of turn around the paradigm of a respiratory therapist is just at the bedside following somebody's order and doing what they have ordered and that's all they do. You want people who can think, innovate, and propel the field to its true potential.